cross crawl. You're gonna take your stability ball and put it on your belly. And then you're gonna bring your knees up and have your arms straight on the front of the ball. So your knees and your arms are touching the ball and you're going to press your opposite arm into your opposite knee and exhale. You wanna exhale as much air out of your belly as you can possibly exhale and make sure you keep your shoulders pulled towards your hips. So you don't wanna muscle this. You don't wanna push with your arms. You're more squeezing your arm and leg together with your abs. So this should really light up your core almost immediately. Again, opposite arm and leg pushing into the ball and you're letting out a big exhale as you do it. Ball walkouts. To do a stability ball walkout, you're going to put your chest on the ball, hands on the ground, Make sure you're nice and steady. And then you're gonna use your hands to pull your body out on the ball. Make sure you keep your hips in line with your shoulders and don't let them sag as you go. You can walk all the way to where your feet are the only thing left on the ball, or you can stop where your knees are the only thing on the ball, or you can come out to even just your waist. And then you're just going to walk back with your hands and walk forward again. You can also just hold the plank at any part in this movement. Straight leg glute bridge. You're gonna start by putting your heels on the top of the stability ball. You're gonna pull your toes in towards your knees, flex your feet and try to keep your feet straight up towards the ceiling the whole time without letting them roll out. Then you're going to pick your hips up off the floor and drive them towards the ceiling. Make sure you keep your ribs tucked into your hips though. You don't want to let your ribs flare up or you're gonna get your buns way up high and start using your back. So you wanna tuck your ribs, you're gonna be a nice straight line when you got it right and the ball should hold pretty still if you stay really stiff in a good straight position. Stability ball leg drops. You're gonna start by laying on your back. You're gonna put your heels on the ball, have your knees and hips at a 90 or as close to it as you can get. And you're gonna slowly let both legs, keep them feet together, knees together, and drop your knees to the side. You're gonna use your core to pull it on back and switch sides. Make sure you do not feel your lumbar spine while you're doing this. Keep everything nice and tight and your back firmly planted into the floor until you're dropping your legs, but always make sure your ribs are tucked into your hips. Stability ball knee ins. You're gonna start much like the walkout, put your chest on the ball and your hands on the floor. <clears throat> You're gonna walk your body out until just about your knees or somewhere between your knees and your feet. From this point, you're gonna tuck your knees into your chest. Good, and then you're gonna straighten your legs back out into a nice plank. So you're just bringing your knees up and then straightening back out. Try to make sure you keep your shoulders back and lats on. Core nice and tight, and try not to drop your hips below your shoulders as you straighten into a good plank. So really land in an excellent straight plank. Chili bowl. For the chili bowl, you're going to be on your knees and go a little wide with your knees so don't have your legs together. You're gonna to get to where your elbows and the bottom of your forearms are on the ball. Keep your shoulders back and locked into place and we're gonna draw little circles with our elbows. You're trying to maintain a stable core, your ribs tucked, your shoulders away from your face, and just draw small circles that are controlled. And if you're feeling really spicy and can keep everything controlled, just draw bigger circles. There you go, get your arms a little further in front of you. Our ball's a little flat, yours will probably work a little better. But you get the idea, this is the chili bowl. Ball leg curls. For stability ball leg curls, you're gonna put your feet on the ball. You're going to lift your hips in the air, much like a straight leg glute bridge, but then you're going to bring the ball into you towards your body by bringing your knees towards your chest. Level one variation is your butt off the floor and it just stays where it's at as your legs move. Level two variation, the harder variation, is your hips go up as your knees come in. So you stay straight from your knees to your shoulders. This is super hard. Version two, and then version one with your butt level. Either one. Stability ball passing crunch. You're gonna grab the stability ball with your feet, and you're gonna lift your legs straight into the air and pass the ball to your hands. And then you're gonna lay back down flat on the floor. Then you're going to pass the ball from your hands to your feet, and then back down to the floor. 